addressing the climate crisis and shifting our economy from fossil fuels to clean energy has this incredible potential to build a better society. At its core, climate change is about inequality. The idea that the people who did the least to cause the problem are the most affected, and the narrative that the fossil fuel industry would like people to believe is that actually we're all responsible. But it's not true. The United States has done more to cause this problem than any other country. And yes, China's emissions are, have caught up with ours, but on a per capita basis, forget it. The United States is still the elephant in the room globally driving this problem and creating this vast system of inequality. We need to confront the fossil fuel industry head on if we're going to have a chance of seeing the kind of scale of action that we need. The Paris Agreement sent a signal that the world is clearly moving away from fossil fuels, which is good news. Now we have a way to tell governments that they can't build any more keystone pipelines. They can't build major coal projects. They can't develop new oil wells offshore. That actually to be accountable to the Paris Agreement requires real shifts. We have a real opportunity to change the way we use energy. And that is a choice that government leaders need to take very seriously. Use the solutions to climate change to bring people out of poverty. Could we imagine if Sub-Saharan Africa transitions its entire economy, leapfrogs the fossil fuel economy entirely, going straight to solar and wind, and bringing millions of people onto the electricity grid? Absolutely. This is the promise embedded in the crisis of climate change.